It's called Zikaron Basalon, Living Room Remembrance, a powerful way for Holocaust survivors to tell their stories directly to young people, carrying a longer-lasting impact. It is a social initiative commemorating the Holocaust, connecting between Holocaust survivors and the younger generation in a small, intimate setting. Sharon Buenos, global director of Zikaron Basalon, recently invited about 20 international journalists to her apartment to experience this approach for themselves. About 11 years ago, a group of young Israelis wanted to commemorate the Holocaust in a different way. They found that the traditional way of ceremonies was no longer enough, and they were looking for new meaning for the Holocaust National Remembrance Day. They gathered in one home, they invited a Holocaust survivor, and it was a very unique experience. Born in 1923, Hannah Malka clearly remembers as a 16-year-old when Nazi Germany took over her home country of Czechoslovakia in just one night. And at the time, it was the greatest democracy in all Europe. And we knew what happened in the Germany, but we never saw that Hitler will try to come to a democratic land. Then one morning, before I went to school, I, heard the, I opened the radio and I heard the president say, be all of you quiet, don't fight, don't do anything. The Germans occupied Czechoslovakia. In the Czech capital's Jewish quarter, life continued for two and a half years. Then, in November 1941, Adolf Hitler said he was giving the Jews a city and began transporting them to the Theresienstadt ghetto. All the Jews came to this place, and instead of 6,000 people, we were 50,000 people. So you can imagine how full it was. I was living in a flat of Czech family, so we were about 70 people in a two-room flat with one WC and with one place to wash themselves. The true intention for Theresienstadt was a transit station for sending Jews to concentration camps. There were always transports. Always people came and all people got away. But we didn't know where they go because we had no idea that there is a place like Auschwitz. We just felt that this must be something worse than, than Theresienstadt. There were little children there and the children were not with their parents. We hope that the children are our future, that at least if we won't survive, the children will survive. The Nazis also used Theresienstadt as propaganda, calling it the spa town to conceal the true purpose of the concentration camps. They made it very beautiful because there should come a commission of the Red Cross. There were flowers sud suddenly and there was a coffee house. There were two people living in a room and not uh, 50. And the Red Cross came. And they said it's not necessary to go to Auschwitz because probably everything what they say about Auschwitz is just the same as what they say about Theresienstadt. The Nazis eventually sent Hannah and the other children to Auschwitz in Poland. Hannah was among 200 girls that were then sent to Germany. She spent the rest of the war as a maid or working in a factory for the Germans. In 1946, Hannah came to pre-state Israel. Like many survivors, she didn't share her story for years. Later, she felt the need to speak out when she saw how people nowadays often treat each other. When I hear how people belong one to the other, it just hurts me because in Theresienstadt, when there was so hard and we had nothing to eat and nothing to do, you never stole from someone and you never did something bad in the opposite. When someone need help, you always helped him. Participants in the salon experience also have the opportunity to share their thoughts and ask questions. What I liked is that you are trying to tell us not only the horror, but also positive stories. I like your sense of humor. You said you went back to Germany as well, right? For a long time, I didn't want to go to Germany. But after that, I said it's silly because they were good Germans too. What is the message that you want everyone here to live here today? Even in the worst situations, you can find something good and something nice, and, and you can find nice people. Zikaron Basalan is now in two million homes in 65 countries, with private individuals hosting evenings like this one. The Holocaust is not only the story of the Jewish people. I think all of us should carry that torch of remembrance. 
and carry a testimony with us. Bueno says she hopes one day six million homes will light a light to remember each victim of the Holocaust. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Tel Aviv, Israel. Yeah. Who knows how we'll play music?